How is a book a monad? Hi, my name is Eric Normand, and these are my thoughts on functional programming. So I'm always on the lookout for monads in the real world. Because um, I feel like it is such an abstract concept that it's good to have concrete examples to explain them with. And they're actually everywhere. They're just uh, harder to see than some other things. So, so uh, monoids are really common, really easy to find. You just see them everywhere. Like even a pile of rocks and you know, adding two piles of rocks is a, a monoid. Um, putting two trains together, two like halves of a train, that's a monoid. But a monad is a little, a little more difficult to see. Uh, I have a tutorial on my site where it's a, it's a video where I explain what I, I demonstrate a monad with a bag of bag of candies, right? So sometimes you buy a bag of candy, but really it's not a bag of candy if you're being like type specific, right? It is a bag of bags of candies. Each each bag, there's bags inside the bag. There's a big bag with little bags inside and each of those bags has candies in it. And so the, the, the monad is, is, a, is a category where you have a join operation which is basically emptying that those the smaller bags into the bigger bags. So now you just have a bag of candies. You don't have a bag of bag of candies. Um, and the thing is, we do that operation in our head all the time. So if I buy a bag of bags of candies, I don't tell my friend, I bought a bag of bags of candies. I, I say, I bought a bag of candies. And the person understands that when they get when, uh, if I give it to them, they're not like, hey, dude, you told me it was a bag of candies, but this is a bag of bags of candies. They understand that that's the same, right? That it's essentially the same. They do the operation, the join operation in their head when they're thinking about the thing. All right, so that's kind of a, that's an example, you know. Um, but I, I thought of another example, and I'd like to try it out here on the podcast. So, if I have a page of words, okay, I, I write a document, just one page. I say it's a page of words, but if I look at it more closely with a very analytical eye, it's actually a page of lines of words, right? It's not a continuous line, it's not a continuous sequence of words. It is a sequence going from up to down of sequences going from left to right of words. Okay, let's just simplify it like that. No hyphenation and no punct. Let's not worry about punctuation right now. Let's just say it's words. So it's a sequence of sequences of words. Okay, you notice the same structure as before. We had a bag of bags of candies. Now we have a sequence of sequences of words. Yet in common everyday language, we could say it's a page of words, right? And when you read it, you just read like a continuous stream of words. You do that join operation you know, with your eyes, basically. You're turning this sequence of sequences into a single sequence. And that's what the join operation is. So the monad is what lets us, the monad is what lets us operate on these nested, nested structures as a single structure okay 
And so this is, you know, if you're in Haskell and you're using um, the IO instance of Monad, which is very common, um, what, you're, what you're doing is a join. If you have, all right, here, you, you need to make a decision, but you don't have all the information to make the decision. How do you get the information to make the decision? You read from the database. So that's an IO operation. You make the decision, and that's going to generate a new action to do, right? So you're going to, or like, let's say you read a configuration file, and now you choose from that configuration file which database to read from. Like, what's the connection information about it, right? So what you're doing is you're making, it's a nested action, right? It's an action that generates a new action. So to, and so the monad unnests those and turns them into just one single action. Does that make sense? Kind of does. So we use them all the time. These are monads. Um, I, I, this is maybe just a, my personal opinion, but I don't think a concept as abstract as monad could be useful unless it was very common right like mathematicians are finding regularities in in the world and um, abstracting them into you know a mental space uh, and then describing them and then we uh, but those regularities are just pervasive in the world right they have to be all over um, we just don't notice it we just don't notice them until a mathematician points them out, right? Um, right. So that's that's monad, right? There's there's two monads: your bag of bags of candies, and your um, your page of words. Now notice, here's another thing: a book isn't just one page, right? A book is a sequence of pages. But you can still consider it like a stream, a more single sequence of words, right? And you do this page turn operation, which lets you continuously get the the, the words in one single stream, right? So you've got a sequence, a sequence of pages, right? So it's a sequence of sequences of sequences of words. And because you, you know how to join them up, you're good, right? You've got the, the join operation you, you need, and uh, you can treat it like, phew, just start reading, right? It's like with candy, like, I ate this whole bag of candy. Ah, no, you ate a bag of bags of candy. No, you can just say, I ate the whole bag of candy, because you know the join operation, which is open the little bags, right? All right. Um, my name is Eric Normand. Uh, you can reach me on Twitter. I'm uh, at Eric Normand. Uh, you can also email me, eric at lispcast.com. Awesome. See you later. Bye.